Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick video on how to install and flash a custom ROM to your Nexus 7 after you've unlocked and rooted it. And custom ROMs are really convenient because I'll show you in a second, but you can do things like uh, have the tablet UI instead of the phone UI on the Nexus 7. And personally, that always annoyed me. So it, you can do lots of cool things. First thing you're going to want to do is find a ROM that you want to use. And to do that, go to xdadevelopers.com and then go to the forums and you're gonna scroll down until you find the Nexus 7 section and you're going to go to uh, the Nexus 7 Android development which is right here Nexus 7 Android development and then you're just gonna to wanna to go through these and they'll say ROM right here and just choose one that you like look at the screenshots and the features it has and then download it you can either download it directly on your Nexus 7 using Google Chrome or something on your Nexus 7 or you can download it onto your computer and transfer it via USB cable and I'm going to make a video over uh, the my favorite custom ROMs but the one I'm using right now is smooth ROM and I'm gonna show you how to install this before we get started with installing the ROM, first I wanted to talk about some of the uh, unique features that you can get. One of the things I said was the tablet UI, and this is what I'm talking about. If you notice on the Nexus 7, you have these three buttons down here directly in the center. Um, and one of the ROMs, such as Smooth ROM, you can get the tablet UI, so it's down here. Your notifications are over here, and you can rotate it. Your apps are up here, and personally this made my nipples erect because I really enjoyed this and I always wanted this in the Nexus 7 but you can never get it anyway back to the flashing the ROM um, if you installed it directly onto your Nexus 7 then all you have to do is boot into the recovery mode but if you dip, uh, download it onto your computer make sure you're connected via USB and then transfer it over somewhere onto your uh, internal storage alright to boot into recovery mode first thing you're gonna do is power off. After it's powered off, you're going to hold the power button and the, the volume rocker, both of them. Hold them all in at the same time. And then it's going to boot up into your fast boot mode. And now using the volume keys, you can change what you're doing up here start power off recovery mode restart bootloader what you want to do is go to recovery mode and then press the power button to boot into the recovery mode alright now this is what the recovery mode looks like and in order to install a custom ROM you're going to want to wipe the data and factory reset this screen right here is uh, just to make sure you don't accidentally do something you don't want to do. The, that's why all of these options are no, and then this one right here is yes. I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed and I don't need to, but you're going to want to uh, wipe the data and factory reset it. And then after that, you're going to want to go to this option, wipe the cache, and then go down to yes, and then hit the power button. And then for Smooth ROM, I'm not sure if other ones require you to do this, but for Smooth ROM, you, they want you to mount all of the things you can from here. So mount SD card if it lets you, mount system, and then cache in the data, which are already mounted for me. Then you're going to go back. Now you're going to install zip from SD card, which is the second option. Choose zip from SD card. Mine downloads to Goo Manager, but you're going to want to go to wherever you have it saved. And then, as you can see, smooth ROM 4.1.zip. You're going to select that, go down to yes, and select that. And now, smooth ROM has an actual GUI installer, as you can see here. Not all of them do have this, but smooth ROM does. So, this is really simple. You're just going to go through next, next choose the kernel you want for smooth ROM. I just stick with the stock, but they say bricked is the smoothest, but I didn't really notice a difference. Then you're gonna go next, and then choose the browser you want. I go with Google Chrome, 
and now this is where you can select the options that you want to go with it. I selected tablet mode, ad blocker, and Google Apps. And then it's just going to go through the install process. And this is this this one particularly smooth ROM is very simple to do. Not all of them are this simple because they don't have a, a GUI installer, but they're still really easy to install. After the installation is done, you're going to click next, finish, and then you're going to go back. And then the very first option is reboot system now. Just press that. And that's all you have to do. You now have a custom ROM flash to your device, usually allowing you to do, to do a lot more cool things than the basic stock ROM will allow you to do. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Leave any comments if there's if you have any suggestions for future videos. Um, one of the ones I'm going to be doing next is uh, my top custom ROMs, my favorite ones. If you have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them as a comment. Thanks for watching.